motion. What's up guys, it's Riley. Uh, today I'm gonna be compression testing my car, or actually I already did. It didn't turn out good at all. Um, I'm basically around 50 PSI below what I should be at, so I'm definitely gonna have to rebuild. Actually, I'm gonna rebuild this KA because I have to drive that car, so I'm gonna be rebuilding this one. Um, still not sure what kind of internals I'm gonna do, but I'll be looking into that. So first things first, go ahead and start up your car, let it get up to operating temperature. You wanna do compression testing on a warm engine, not a cold one, to get accurate readings. So I'll go ahead and start up my car now. After your car's up to good operating temperature, go ahead and take off all the plug wires so that you'll be able to get to the spark plugs. Uh, then you're gonna want a, I used a 5 8 spark plug socket with a rubber insert. The rubber insert helps you pick up the spark plug so it doesn't fall back in the cylinder. Um, so go ahead and take out all of your spark plugs, keep them in order. It's kind of important to uh, keep the even wear pattern, and put them back in the same cylinder when you're done. So keep them in the same order and go ahead and take out all of your spark plugs. So the next thing you're gonna do is go ahead and start with cylinder one, screw it in by hand uh, very carefully because you don't wanna cross thread your threads for your spark plugs, obviously that'd be horrible, it'd be a mess. Then after that, you're gonna wanna go ahead and get inside your car and bump the starter for about five to 10 seconds so that your, uh, your engine will turn over and that'll generate the compression. Uh, and then once that's over with, you go ahead and get outside, check your compression tester and uh, you're gonna want to jot down the reading. It's really important to keep track of keep track of every single reading from every cylinder. That way you can compare them later on and see how far off you are. I found it's also important. Go ahead and check the forms. Make sure you know roughly what your engine's supposed to be at for a healthy compression. If you guys want to boost your engine, it's really important that you guys have good compression. Otherwise, you just you know, you're not gonna see the results you want to. So just to let you guys know, this is my first time doing this. I've never compression tested a engine before, and um, I'm almost positive I did it the right way. If I didn't, just let me know. Uh, I might end up wasting like a grand on forged internals then. If you guys have any suggestions on what kind of forged internals I should use, I'm just gonna do bottom ends. I'm gonna do rods, pistons, bearings. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, I don't think other than just getting pol polished and ported for the head, that's pretty much all I'm gonna do. ARP head studs, uh, just resurface the block in the head and then toss it all back together. Um, other than that, that's pretty much my plan right now. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys. Uh, hopefully things get better. <coughs> but, um, stay tuned, hopefully it's gonna be pretty sick.